The Instron load frame is used for tensile and compressive mechanical testing of materials. Other types of tests include shearing, bending, and cyclic loading. Make sure to use the proper personal protective equipment, including goggles. To start the machine, press the switch on the back right side. Do this before starting the software because the Blue Hill software is synchronized with the machine. Double click on the Blue Hill icon to start the software. The software shows the extension and load at the top. First, you need to choose the proper load cell. There are two kilonewton and five kilonewton load cells that are chosen depending on the load range and sensitivity of the sample. Change load cells by unscrewing the three bolts at the top, unplugging it, and pulling up on the handle to remove it. Be careful when switching load cells and make sure to switch off the machine before installing the load cell and to plug in the load cells to the port behind the machine. Next, you need to calibrate the load cell. Remove any attachments so the load cell is freely hanging. In the software, click on the load cell icon in the upper right corner and press calibrate. This will zero the load. Click done when calibration is complete. Key 1 and key 2 can be assigned as reset gauge length and balance load respectively for ease of use. There are several types of testing modes. Compression plates use force to compact the sample. For tensile tests, 5 kN clamps or 50 kN clamps are used, depending on the load that will be imparted on the sample. To install the 5 kN clamps, an adapter must be added using a pin. Then the top clamp can be added in a similar manner. Height brackets are used to raise the sample. The height change is needed to hold the sample at the level of the video extensometer. The brackets can be added with a pin along with the bottom clamp. The remote controller is used to position the clamps and to operate the machine. The white buttons are fast movement and the black scroll is slow movement of the clamps. To make a new method, click the method button. You can pick a pre-existing method using the browse button or create a new one. Press new and pick the type of test, which is tensile in this case. The general tab is for display purposes. You can write descriptions about your method and sample and specify the layout of the program. The specimen tab is for specifying sample dimensions and parameters. A dog bone sample is used for this test. Select rectangular and specify the width, thickness, and gauge length of the sample. The gauge length is the distance between the clamps before starting the test. The control tab describes the test. Select extension for mode of displacement, then specify the rate of extension. Most use 5 mm per minute or 50 mm per minute, depending on if you want a slow or fast test. The end of test tab identifies the criteria for the end of the test. A large load drop is experienced when sample failure occurs. For this test, when the sample load drops by a certain percentage of the peak load, the machine will stop. This percentage depends on the type of sample. The data tab specifies if the data is acquired manually or automatically, while the strain tab recognizes whether the strain is measured from the video extensimeter or the extension. Alerts can be set up to stop the machine if certain criteria are reached, such as the maximum load that the load cell can withstand. The results section specify what results and calculations are shown. Two tabs are provided to allow for separate result displays. The two graph sections display the results and format the graphs. The raw data tab displays all data points of the runs or tests. The report tab allows you to print or export the results to a PDF or Word document. Click the save button when finished so the method can be used again. Save your file in your folder of the Instron data folder. Next, click the test button. Choose the method you would like to use by clicking browse and finding your file, then press next. Make sure your results are saved in the right folder, then name your sample, click Save, and click Next. There are different methods used to prepare samples. One example is a punching tool used with a hammer to cut out the dog bone sample from a film. There is also a mold used to cast samples from a liquid monomer. Next, the sample must be inserted. Typical gauge lengths are about 40 millimeters, so the clamp should be positioned accordingly using a micrometer or a ruler. Position the sample in the middle of the clamps and tighten the top clamp first using the bar at the top, then tighten the bottom clamp. The sample may have some slack between the two clamps, so additional distance should be added between the clamps using the controller. Before starting the experiment, zero the gauge length and load if they are not close to zero. 
Press the start button to begin the test. The sample will then begin to stretch and the load applied and the extension of the sample will be displayed on the computer. The test will be completed once the sample breaks. This is an example of a typical tensile test. The graph shows the tensile stress and strain and the drop off indicates the failure of the sample. For additional runs, remove the broken specimen from the clamps and replace with your next sample. Press the next button until asked if you would like to run another test under the same method. Then complete previous steps. Save all data on the thumb drive just in case data is lost. Additional features include the video extensimeter which monitors the sample extension through video. The temperature environment can be placed around the sample to simulate a test within a regulated environment. After you are finished, remove all parts and put them back in their proper areas. Make sure to turn off the instrument using the switch.